Welcome to Artwork, a professional development program about working in visual arts in Atlantic Canada. I'm Sarah Jones, the curator at Jones Gallery in St. John, New Brunswick. Today on digital strategies for visual artists, what makes a good digital strategy? So there are three guiding principles for embarking on any digital initiative and three things that can really make it successful. One, professionalism, two, purpose, and three, consistency. We'll come back again and again to these principles throughout the webinar, and I'll show you exactly how to implement each one. But for now, a bit more on each one of these ideas. So first, professionalism. I have been on art juries around Atlantic Canada for the past number of years, and I know the, the care and attention and professionalism with which so many of you approach your practice. The same professionalism should extend to any digital activity that relates to you and your work. I know that online initiatives can sometimes feel nebulous and can thereby sometimes become secondary to us. But in order for us to compete nationally and reach audiences beyond our region, professionalism has to be standard across everything that we do. Number two, purpose. This is great news. You do not have to do everything. If a digital tool or a platform doesn't relate to you and your practice and doesn't support your career or your career goals, you don't have to use it. You need to know the exact purpose of a tool or activity, and you should always be able to answer why, or if you prefer, so what? So why are you on Twitter? Or you're on Twitter, well, so what? What does that do for you? If you have an answer, so I'm on Twitter because it's part of research that I'm doing, or I'm on Twitter because the format works really well for my practice and my audience, then that's great, carry on, use Twitter. But if you have no answer to why or so what, then it might just be a waste of your time. Really thinking hard about purpose, answering why and so what will help you to have a less, less piecemeal approach to a digital strategy. And then you'll know that all of the components are there for a defined reason. Number three, consistency. So there are lots of different types of consistency. The obvious one is updating regularly. So actually using the tools and platforms you sign on to use. Consistency can also be establishing parameters around your digital initiative. So start and end dates, for instance, or establishing how often you're going to post uh, on a certain platform. There should also be consistency of message, tone, and of, of branding. I know that word, but all branding means is how something looks and, and feels. So consistency of how it looks and feels across platforms. Each one of these principles needs the other. So your online initiative or content can be professional and it can be purposeful, but if you're not consistent with it in the way that you said that you would be, then there's really no point. These principles should also help you assess whether or not to embark on some digital foray or other. So there, was, there was an article recently in The New Yorker, which I'll link to in the video notes, about a platform called Substack. And Substack is a, it's an email newsletter platform. It's good for writers and it's popular with journal, journalists and it's having kind of a, a, a real moment now. And I thought, I like writing. I'm going to join Substack and we can make one for the gallery and won't that be great? And Caleb's, Caleb said to me, why, why are you doing this? And I don't actually have a good answer to that yet, which means that that idea Substack has so far failed number two, which means it might in the future, but for right now it's failed number two. And I know that I'll probably have an issue with consistency at the moment. So on number three, that's failed also. So for right now, Substack can just, can just wait. But our art history lecture series, though, I think, stands up really well to all three principles, and that's why we're doing it. So this is where we, we migrated our in-person lecture series uh, during COVID or to adapt to COVID to, to YouTube. So before we launched the YouTube channel, we needed to make sure that it looked and sounded professional. So, right, that's, that's number one. So we needed to learn some new video editing techniques. We needed some better recording equipment to make this happen. Number two, answering that why or so what, what's the, the purpose? 
So part of our core mandate here at the gallery is free art education. That's really important to us. And so adapting the lecture series for an online audience or for YouTube, like that, that fits really well with that mandate. We also have a study abroad uh, program, and, uh, and so there's a layered response to So What or Why, like it underscores both of those things. And then consistency, so we aim to post once or twice a month, those are our parameters. We don't always get there, but as long as you have all three principles in mind and you're kind of aiming at all three, it should, it should work, it should be okay. Sometimes you won't be able to make it to all three, but that's, that's all right, as long as you're, you're, you're heading in that direction. So much more to follow about these principles. In future videos, we'll talk about online professionalism and what that looks like, how to design and create content with purpose, and we'll share ideas and resources on how to be consistent with your digital strategy. We'd like to acknowledge our work's major funder, Canada Council for the Arts. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.